Hello and welcome to David Clank Furniture Shop. This week we're going to start milling out the wood for this larger jewelry box. I went through the dimensions of the jewelry box in the last video. This video we're going to show some of the rough lumber that I'm going to be using and get started with milling the wood. This is the box. I'm going to pan over here to show some of the wood. I'm going to reset the camera and uh, do more close-ups of the lumber. These pieces are some beautiful curly maple, eight quarter. It's just amazingly tight curl. There's two pieces from one plank. I think those are from one plank. This is a separate piece. It looks great, but I'll probably be using that for the bottom panel and the bottom of the trays. The next batch of boxes, I'm hoping maybe two boxes, will be out of this walnut. It's beautiful, wide, got a little bit of sap, but it looks pretty good. The total plank is just under 12 inches, so there won't be much of the sap in the box. This piece will be made, used to make the box and the, maybe the box's bottom panel. I'm hoping to get the panel of the lid out of this piece of curl on this thinner piece of walnut. I also have in the rough this piece of walnut and it has some curl I think down in this area so that may be part of the panel too but I wanted to show that whole plank. It's got a chip out of it there, but it's really beautiful. I think I'll maybe get two, maybe three walnut boxes out of this wood. This is some beautiful figured cherry I got from Bob Klaus, and I hope to get three boxes out of these planks. I'm gonna hold it here and you can see. Some of the curl in that plank. And this this one plank's gotta be seven feet long and ten inches to the sap. So the box is about six inches tall. I make them six and a quarter, and then when you cut the lid down, it makes it not quite as tall, but that will get the box sides. piece has just beautiful grain to it, a little bit of curl. That might be the panel in the lid, or I may dig through some other piles to see if I can find something else for the lid. I hope to get two or three boxes out of these pieces of bird's eye maple. I think that will be a panel piece. This piece will probably be the front and the back and the sides of the box. And then the same with this. I don't know if I can get a whole box out of this piece because of that mineral stain, but I'm going to work around it and see what I can do. In addition to those pieces, I have this one long piece of bird's eye that I'll be trying to make the boxes out of and hoping to find a panel out of one of these other pieces to go with it. If I need six and a quarter, this is over seven and a half, but it's tapered. But it'll be just for the front, back, and sides of the box and not the bottom panel or the lid panel. Lastly, this is a piece of poplar. This is what I'll be making a box out of that I use for doing all the machine setups. I make a whole box out of a piece of poplar so that I can confirm my setups, do any testing I need to do, and uh, test the glue up, test all that with poplar first. And that's what you'll be seeing me work with mostly on the upcoming videos, is me like cutting the dovetails, cutting the 
hinge mortises. I do all that first in a piece of poplar before I go to the more expensive woods. And this project will be the same as that. Let's go over to the joiner now and I'll show a little bit of the milling operation. It's hard to see with the saw curves, but it's just beautiful stuff. A lot of thickness so I can clean this all up in the sander. And here is the rest of the wood ready to go through the planer. Some of the bird's eye ready to go through the planer and be resawed.
So here are the results of all the milling. I have two poplar boxes, one cherry box over here, one walnut that's the normal size, and one walnut that's going to be a different size. It's going to be much taller, but not as wide. There's two curly, and I got to show you this, this curly maple is just, it's hard to tell in this light, but it's really incredible. And then three of the bird's eye. One of the bird's eyes already sold, so there'll be two for sale. So there'll be a total of 10 boxes. They're done through the rough milling. Everything's gone through the wide belt sander. Some of the pieces you can see still need to be trimmed to width, but I'm going to let them sit for a few days. The next step is to cut the groove for the bottom panels, cut a rabbit for the top framing panel, and then lay out and do the dovetails. That's what I'll be doing in the next video. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to making this batch of boxes over the next several weeks.